Hey y'all, welcome to At Home with Chef Jolie. If you're true to this and not new to this, welcome back. Today is the last episode of season two. We're going out with a bang. We're doing this charred jalapeno and pineapple margarita, and we're gonna pair that with a Baja fish taco. So come on in, get comfortable, pull your seat up, sit down at the table, and let's get started. Tell me now, are you hungry? Okay, before I give you all the keys to the castle and all my recipes, what I need from you is to subscribe to my channel. I see y'all watching and half of y'all haven't even subscribed yet. So go ahead and click the red subscribe button, click the bell to turn on your notifications so you know when I'm shaking up some good cocktails. Make sure you share and also talk to me down in the comments. I be wanting to talk to y'all, so. I think at this point, it's time to make this cocktail. This, like I said, is the charred jalapeno and pineapple margarita. I have my charred jalapeno here, and all I did was put some oil on this, and then I put it on, um, I have a gas stove, and I just charred it. Kept turning it over, turning it over until it got all nice and charred like this. If you don't have a gas stove, what you can do is turn your oven up, probably to like maybe 500 degrees oil and let it uh, roast. You'll get the similar same effect. So once it's all charred, typically when you char or roast a vegetable, you will take off all this char, but I like the char. So I'm leaving that on. You see the season here? You can control how spicy you want your margarita by taking out some of those seeds. So I got trust issues. And sometimes the jalapeno, the seeds, they don't be, you know, spicy and giving what it's supposed to give. So I'm gonna leave all mine in there. And I'm just cutting it just like this, like that. There you go. I have some here already. And that is it, that is all. The next thing that I'm going to do is take some of this charred jalapeno about that much. Maybe that is about half a tablespoon. And I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice. Put it right here so y'all can see. I'm gonna squeeze half a lime to start with. And I'm just gonna muddle. And you know what? This recipe does not call for cilantro, but if you true to this and you ain't new to this, you know cilantro is my favorite herb. So this is optional. So I'm gonna put in a little bit of cilantro and I'm just gonna muddle to break up that jalapeno and hopefully let some of the spices out in that cilantro all together with the lime, just like that. Okay, how can you have a margarita without tequila? So I have a silver tequila. This is actually an ultra anejo, so it's really anejo, the best kind of anejo. I'm gonna do two ounces. One and two. I'm gonna then do an ounce of Grand Marnier. One ounce. And then I'm gonna do two ounces of pineapple juice. So if you like it to be more spirit for, you can cut back on the pineapple juice. One and two. I'm gonna put the rest of my lime in there because I like it a little bit tart. And I'm gonna finish it off with just a squeeze of agave just to get that sweetness. Sweet, tart, spicy. What more do you want in a cocktail? Oh, I know what else you want in a cocktail. Instead of salt, you want your rim to have a dabadouya. So this is just a dabadouya with a little bit of sugar mixed in, lime around the side, and there you go, okay? Ice, we're gonna shake it up, and this is, cocktail is going to be on the rocks. Okay, let's shake it up and serve it up. All right, let's make sure everything is on there good, because we don't want no accidents. <laughs> Why do I get so excited? I'm like a kid in a candy store. 
All right, for my garnish, all I did was take some charred pineapple. I did the same thing. I didn't put any oil. I just put my pineapple and let it hit that heat on my gas stove. All right, let's see if I can get this open. I had a feeling I wouldn't be able to get it open. Oh yes, I, I, got, I got it. Where there's a will, there's a way, honey. All right, here we go. Look at that. You can strain it if you don't like, you see how it has all the cilantro and the jalapenos and the seeds. You can strain that if you like to, but why would you? Cause that's the flavor. I like it, I love it. So cheers to you, quality control to me. Let's taste it. Oh yeah, yeah. Charred jalapeno and pineapple margarita. It's gonna go so good with these Baja fish tacos. So let's go catch some fish and cook some fish tacos. Okay, y'all. So I told you on the last episode, I've been traveling, right? So I was in California a couple of weeks ago and I went to this restaurant called Mi Casa in Costa Mesa, California and had the best Baja style fish taco that I've ever had. And I said, I got to recreate it. So, so here we are, here we are. Um, I have cod right here. These are all the toppings for when we build the fish taco. So all the good stuff. Right here, I have my flour mix mixture. The recipe is gonna be in the description, but in here is some all-purpose flour. There's some baking powder. There's some adabaduya. So what I'm gonna add is some beer to the mix, to the party, because it is a wet batter. And you're looking for like a pancake batter consistency with this um, batter. So I know for the amount of flour that I have in here is this whole can of beer. So I'm gonna put that all in there like that. So that fish taco child, let me tell you, it was so amazing that I started studying and researching Baja fish tacos. It was that good. And what I learned was that the Baja fish taco, the way that it has this puffy, crunchy, almost tempura style batter, it originated in this town in Mexico, right there on the California-Mexico border called Ensenada, Mexico. And I cannot wait to go there to have the original. So in the meantime, this is my take on the Baja fish taco that I had in Costa Mesa, California, a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so I think batter is looking pretty good. I am going to um, season up this cod. So I think I said this, this fish is cod. So any like white, mild flavored, kind of thick, fleshy, meaty fish should work. And I've had tons of Baja fish tacos, tons of fish and chips. And the thing that I always lightweight despise is that the batter is crunchy and all that good stuff, but the fish has no flavor. And you have to load it up with malted vinegar if you're doing fish and chips and tartar sauce and stuff. And so that fish taco I had in California, it was seasoned. So I said, you know what? Instead of just seasoning the batter, I am also gonna season my fish so that everything has flavor. Because what good is food without flavor? Who does that? Where they do that at? Not over here with Chef Jolie. All right. I think our batter looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, let's check the temp on the oil. And it looks like we are right around 350 degrees is where you wanna be. If it's slightly higher, like 355, maybe 360, no higher, you're okay because once you start to add your fish, the temperature will drop a little bit, okay? So we're right about where we need to be. Now I'm gonna start battering fish. And you only wanna, depending on the size of your 
skillet or fryer, you don't want to crowd the fryer because they will tend, the fish pieces will tend to stick together and um, it'll drop the temperature too much. Okay, so get them really good in the batter like so. And then you want to shake off, let the excess drip off. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Okay, 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 Jolie. We're cooking with Crisco now. There we go. I'm gonna do one more piece. And then once they get nice and golden, I'm gonna, if you have um, a wire rack like this, put it on a wire rack. Or paper towels will work just fine. Turn it over like that. And we're gonna get these nice and golden. And when I come back, I'm gonna have my warm corn tortillas. I got this slaw, I got some pickled onions, some avocado. Stay right there, because it's going down when we get back. Okay, we got our fish all fried up, GBD. Y'all know, have I ever told y'all, do y'all know what GBD means? It means golden brown delicious, honey, and that is what we have right here. So. Before I start putting it together, let me tell you what I have. I have some avocado, my fave cilantro. I have some fresh lime cojita cheese. I also have some pickled red onion and I have both red and green cabbage. And I have my charred jalapeno margarita. Let me take a sip. Okay, we're ready. So I got my tortillas here. Corn tortillas is what I like. If you don't like corn, I suppose you could do flour, but corn to me just goes so much better with seafood. So I have this chipotle mayo here that I'm gonna put on the bottom because I really like all my condiments. And you know what? A little bit of chipotle is stuck in there. That's okay, we are gonna be all right. There we go, bam! All right, <laughs> I like this piece of fish right here. I'm gonna put it right there. Then I'm gonna go, you can do it however you like to. This part, just freestyle it how you want. I'm gonna go with a little bit of the green cabbage, just a little bit of the red cabbage, like that. These pickled onions, the recipe for the pickled onions is also in the description. Super easy, vinegar, sugar, water, a dab of doo I like a lot of that because it's a little bit sweet and a little crunchy. I'm gonna now do my avocado. I love avocado. Ooh, I hear how crunchy it is. Mm, 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 mm. This is gonna get messy. Don't judge me, judge mama. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put some cilantro on here because y'all know I like my cilantro. Like that, I'm gonna put some lime juice. Ooh, look at the lime juice, child. Look at it. And then cojita cheese, like that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bite this, but I'm gonna try. How will we know unless we try? Oh, and finish it off. Like that. And there it is. That's our Baja fish taco. And I feel like I need napkins, paper towels. Let me squat so I can stretch out. I got two tortillas here, but let's see if I can, ooh, do it with one. Mm, 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 mm. Here we go. It's gonna be messy, but that's how we like it. All right, here we go. Mmm. I'm gonna try the other side too. You can hear that crunch. Mmm. 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 Y'all. It's perfect. I know I got stuff all over my mouth. That's okay. 
Because I was supposed to take just one bite to taste it, but I gotta have a third bite. Okay, y'all. I had to go grab me a napkin because I had food all over my face. But let me tell you, the fish is hot. It's crunchy. Then you have the cool and creamy avocado, that chipotle mayo, the spicy. The cojita cheese gives you a little bit of salt. But I think one of the stars are these pickled red onions. It's so good. It's so good. The restaurant I went to in California is Mi Casa and Costa Mesa. Best Baja Fish Tacos. This is my version. Recipe is now in the description. And before I go, this is the last episode of season two, but don't fret, season three is coming up. Before that, we're going to do a YouTube live. So comment down below any recipe that you'd like for me to make on live, because we can interact, we can talk. It could be something from season one, it could be something from season two, it could be something brand new. Bars. I got all the bars these last two episodes. But we're doing this YouTube live and I want you to be a part of it. So thank you for coming here with me today at Home with Chef Jolie and get these recipes. Remember to subscribe. Remember to turn on your notifications so you know when there are new recipes dropping, so you know when there's new cocktails and just be a part of my foodie family. So we will see you for season four. Three, thank you to the team, Keith Creative. Roz B for the makeup, Keith Creative is the man behind the camera. And Asael, who's always here as the second pair of hands. So appreciate you. We will see you next season. Oh, we'll see you at the live first. Let me finish this taco. Tell me now, are you hungry? Looking for something for your tummy.